Whoa, ho, ho. it's one of those days, people. It's one of those days. So I have just, just gotten back from the gym and to my beautiful surprise, we have a lovely new package to open. I'm very excited. I worked very hard to be able to get one of these again and afford one of these again. So let's open it together. Okie dokie, top view taken care of. All right guys, let's do this with some precision. Now I actually found this gem hiding in WA, surprisingly enough. Uh, I didn't think so, it was country, country WA. All right, let's have a look. Oh damn, accessories, lovely. Oh, hand grip and look at that, red filter and a green or yellow filter, lovely. That is a nice surprise. Here we go, ooh la la. I'm excited. Oh, oh, good packaging. Well, you'd want it to be, to be honest, for how much it cost. Oh, very nice, very nice, very, very nice. <laughs> So guys, I've had a couple of hours just to play around with the camera, shoot about a half a roll around the house um, and out for a walk with the boys. And it is just like riding a bike. If you've owned an M camera before, it's, you know, it's nothing new. You pick it up, it feels beautiful, it feels amazing, right back to it. So this time, guys, I picked up myself a M6 Panda. So, you know, only difference with the Panda is compared to a normal M6 Classic is chrome body with blacked out dials looks kind of cool but you know it was what was available and it was the same price as a regular m6 or a tiny bit cheaper actually um, and the guy threw in a hand grip and a yellow filter genuine like a yellow filter orange filter polarizer filter so that was kind of cool and a really beautiful leather strap that you guys saw uh, which i'll never use because i make my own camera straps in case you didn't know shameless plug in if you want to pick yourself up a camera strap and support the channel, head over to 35strapco.com. That's me. That's some my straps. I make them all by hand for you guys right here at home. So if you want one of those, best way to support the channel. Thank you. So if you caught that video from probably almost a year ago now when I kind of rebooted the channel again, you know, I had to sell the M6 TTL, the dream camera. I wanted, always wanted an M6 TTL. It's fantastic. Um, exactly the same, essentially, just having that bigger dial, which is nice for my big fingers and having the sort of light meter with that extra um, LED in the middle, a bit more clear. Essentially, it works exactly the same, does the same thing. It's just a little bit newer, a little bit nicer as far as I'm concerned. Couldn't afford one of those because they have really gone up in price. Uh, but picked up one of these because I love them. I love these cameras. They are amazing cameras. You can't, you can say whatever you want about Leica, but they make possibly the nicest uh, cameras in the world. To be quite frank, they are beautiful to look at functionally if you you know, don't care about autofocus. Well, even with the new ones, the SL and the Q and the autofocus, they've gotten better. But as far as a you know design standpoint, usability standpoint, they are amazing, fantastic cameras. I don't like the way their marketing is going these days, but that's a conversation for another time. But I love their cameras and I definitely, I personally do subscribe to the historic aspect of Leica being the first 35mm cameras and how they evolved over the years, the heritage. I do buy into that, not so much the wank factor that comes with it these days that I think is ever present, but they are beautiful cameras for what they're designed for. And that's part of the reason why I enjoy using Leica cameras, guys, for two reasons. As a daily daily driver, document documentary tool to use to just take photos of your life, um, or you know, as a documentary photographer, whatever the case is, they are amazing cameras. They're quiet, they're light-ish, they look amazing, they feel amazing, they just work, they're very reliable. You know, it's a gorgeous camera, it's perfect. The other reason why I wanted to get another one again was mostly because street photography. I love doing street photography and the rangefinder, you can say what you want about a whole manner of other cameras, but if you shoot film, the rangefinder really is possibly the best tool for street photography. It's quiet. You can zone focus with the lenses. Framing is really easy using the rangefinder patch uh, and frame lines. Amazing tool for street photography. And that's why a lot of people have Leicas and shoot street. 
Now, my favorite M of all time still would have to be the M3 from a historic standpoint. I think that is a very, very important camera. It's a beautiful camera, start of the M line, etc. You guys know the drill. I did pick one up because they're a lot more affordable than one of these. And, you know, I can run Sunny 16 these days. I don't need a light meter. I can do it in my head. Um, but it ended up being riddled with problems, unfortunately. I spent a lot of money on it. It was supposed to be CLA'd. It wasn't. Uh, shuttered uh, speeds were out, light leaks, etc. So I ended up getting a full refund for that. And then just saving up a little bit more money over the last couple months, uh, being able to afford the M6 Panda here. Now, I did think these are getting outrageously expensive. Outrageous. I did think that maybe the price of these would drop uh, when the new M6 came out. But the fact that they price those the same as or a little bit more than a brand new MP... These days, a used M6 Classic is essentially exactly the same as the new one, just older. These are sitting at probably roughly half the price of one of those new M6s. So they've definitely come up a bit more in value since the last time I had one, but I don't see them going down in value. So again, if you buy one of these cameras, there's the confidence of knowing that you're not going to lose money on it and it can always be repaired by Leica or by one of a, a genuine Leica tech. So I'm pretty stoked. I'm pretty happy. I've worked pretty hard to be able to afford one of these again in case anybody who wants to talk smack in the comments because I know everybody loves doing that about how many cameras I buy and sell. Who cares? I like buying cameras. I like using all the cameras. It's fun. Some cameras you buy, you use for a while, you sell, some you keep. This is one of those. You know, I do my stuff raw. hope that this time nothing crazy happens where I, you know, need to pull five grand cash out of my pocket to drop a hat and sell everything. Please no bit more prepared for life these days but thanks for watching guys more videos coming soon street photography big time street photography we're getting back into some more surf stuff coming down the pipeline you name it so stay in tuned thanks for sticking with me all these years guys i love you and i'll see you in the next one